Hello Blue World fans, this is Cameraman Todd and take, today we're taking you on a behind the scenes 3D adventure. We're going behind the scenes in our Abaco Caves video shoot with Bahamas Underground. We'll be diving with myself, Jonathan, and Brian K. Cook, the world famous underwater cave explorer who's helped protect and preserve these caves, um, which are unique to the Bahamas Island. You'll note that as we swim through the caves, there's no tanks on our back. They're rather mounted on our side. And that's so that we can get into areas of the cave where having a tank on your back would be prohibitive and prevent you from moving between the cracks and crevices that make up the cave. The mission on this shoot was simply to familiarize ourselves with the cave. And most of our dives have a specific purpose. But because we deal with wildlife, we don't always know how things are gonna turn out and what's going on. One of the nice things about the cave environments is that they're more predictable in that sense. So we went specifically to shoot and film a dome of crystal. These caves are referred to as the crystal caves because much of the stalagmites and stalactites you see in the ceiling and the floor are, aren't a limestone, they're rather a, a crystalline formation, and they're transparent for that reason, and they're also unique for that reason. Now this was shot with a 3D GoPro rig um, that was mounted on my helmet, so you're seeing a first-person view of the caves. Um, as I turn my head, the camera itself turns as well. It's mounted to my helmet, so there is only one perspective to show you. But it gives you a very real sense of what it's like to move through these structures, um, between the cracks that make up the cave and, and around the various formations. This particular restriction was about eight feet tall, and it was vertical, so you're moving vertically through the water. Here we see Brian coming out of that, coming out of that particular restriction. And you can see with tanks mounted on your back, you really have no practical means to move through there. This is the second shot that we're setting up. We're trying to film this particular room, and the way we generally would work because we have to use hand signals, is to have a general plan. But then to use hand signals to sort of help identify where each of us would need to go. Jonathan would be working the camera, I would be working a camera, and Brian would be responsible for swimming around and, and lighting the caves. Uh, as he was most familiar with the best techniques to use when lighting up these caves, as he knows the caves the most. And has done a lot of film work within them. The third major shot we did was the column that you see up here on the left. Uh, it's a large crystalline column that goes floor to ceiling. It's truly massive. So Brian goes up, he sets up various aspects of the lighting, Jonathan gets into place, and then Brian and I swim through the swim through the frame. It's as we proceed out of this cave, the entrance is the darkest and most foreboding area of the entire cave. And that's because there's a lot of decomposing leaves um, in the water column. And uh, the ground itself is black and covered with this, this decomposing matter, basically a dark, rich soil. And so it makes the entrance rather bleak. Here we're coming up. You can see the platform that Brian has installed to help protect and preserve the caves. Um, makes it a little easier for divers to get into and out of, um, but also prevents uh, additional destruction that would happen with people walking in and walking out of the caves and, and moving a lot of heavy gear around. Thanks for watching.